the city is in need of volunteers to serve on its boards. The Durham Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Commission has one opening representing university students or university facilities with the term expiring on August 31, 2022. Applications are due by February 7th. The Durham Workers' Rights Commission has seven vacancies with terms expiring on April 30, 2022. Applications are due for those by February 10th. For more information about all of these opportunities, visit durhamnc.gov 238. The city has a new director of its general services department. Gina Probst has taken over the role permanently after having served as acting director since July of last year. Probst will lead the department's 124 employees and manage a more than $14 million annual budget. The General Services Department is responsible for a number of operational functions of the city. Those include the acquisition and sale of properties, the design and management of new construction and renovation projects, building maintenance, landscaping and urban forestry services, and sustainability and energy management. Probst has been with the city since 2005. She previously served as the Assistant Director for Project Delivery and Sustainability for the same department. Her appointment is effective immediately. To learn more about the General Services Department, visit dermancgovernor 733. Calling all potential event and festival vendors. Applications are now being accepted for some of Durham Parks and Recreation's largest events. DBR has spaces available for booths at the annual Earth Day Festival, Ben Bay Cultural Arts Festival, and the Rock the Park Concert Movie Series. The Earth Day Festival will be held on April 19th, the Ben Bay Festival on May 16th, and the Rock the Park Series on Saturday evenings throughout the summer. Vendors will be selected on a first come, first serve basis with consideration given for a variety of food and beverage offerings at each event. Only mobile food trucks are pushed cart peddlers who have up-to-date food service permits with the Durham County Public Health Office will be considered. Non-food, artists, and natural crafts vendors are also encouraged to apply. For more information on how to do that, visit dprplaymore.org 331 and be sure to follow the department on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The 2020 Census is getting underway, and this is your chance to make sure that you and your family are counted. The Census happens every 10 years and is a count of every person who lives in the United States and its territories. The results impact each of us in many ways. Those include determining how billions of dollars in federal funding flow into states and communities, and how many seats in Congress each state gets. You'll receive your invitation to complete the Census in the mail in March. For the first time ever, responding online will be an option, but you can still respond by phone or mail if you prefer. April 1st will be officially be observed as Census Day, and then from June through July, Census takers will go door-to-door -to, -door to count people who have not responded yet. The Census Bureau will report the results to the President by December 31st. For more information, go to census.nc.gov. A new augmented reality app is making two downtown murals interactive. The app allows visitors to share their own stories while experiencing the murals inspired by artists Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. The murals, located on the 100 block of East Chapel Hill Street, were installed in the fall by the North Carolina Museum of Art to celebrate the museum's exhibition called Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, and Mexican Modernism. The installation was also supported by the city's Arts, Culture, and Sustainable Communities Division and the General Services Department. The new app was commissioned by Google Fiber and was created by student developers at Code the Dream. The app allows visitors to stop at the mural and leave their own stories, including sharing where their family originally came from. It also lets visitors walk through a portal for a glimpse into the exhibition gallery at the Museum of Art. The app can be downloaded from MariposaAR.com.